Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryguy Gaming here with another Roblox scripting tutorial today. And today we as part of our remastered scripts initiative, I guess you could say, we are redoing an old script. And as you can see, I'm here in tutorial land. I moved everything out. So it's oh, I guess you can't see my explorer, but I moved everything out of here. It's still in the place. I just have it in the server storage just so we can have a little more clean workspace so I can show you guys a lot easier because I was get a lot, getting a lot of questions like, what's this script for? So I decided we're only going to have the tutorial we're working on in workspace at the time just to clean it up a little bit. So um, as you can see today we are doing teleports just the classic teleport brick hit it and you'll teleport to the other one and it's really quite simple and I just wanted to show you guys a cleaned up version of the original script and that it indeed still works in the current studio so the first thing you are going to want to do is insert two parts and to do this you're just going to right click in the game window I can't actually show you my right click because my screen recorder does not seem to want to capture it. But if you just right click there will be an option that says insert part. And you are going to want to do that twice and then rename one of them to Telly1 and the other one to Telly2. And then select them both by clicking on one and then holding down the control key on your keyboard and then clicking the other then you are going to right click one of them and click group this will place them into a model which you must do for my script to work if they are not grouped in a model my script it will work as well actually I don't want to confuse you so we'll just say it won't work it technically it can but as soon as you start trying to throw in multiple teleporters and anything so just trust me when I say you're going to want to group them and then the next thing you're going to want to do is into each of these parts you are going to want to insert a script so like before you are going to right click on each of the parts and you are going to go down to insert object in the context menu that pops up and then another menu will pop up in which you click script and then you are going to want to insert a bool value. It will have this icon. It will be called bool value. And when you insert it, it will be named value. Go ahead and rename each of them to enabled. Click on it and make sure the checkbox is checked. If this isn't checked, then this won't work. Now we are going to go ahead and hop into the script. It will be nearly identical for each of the teleporters, but it's kind of different. So here we are in the script. The first line we are setting the destination part. The this variable holds the part the destination. In this case, it will be Telly2. In the other script, let me pull that up. It is Telly1. So just the script that you are working in it's the opposite part if that makes sense and then the second variable we have here is we have the enabled within the part we are currently working in so we have we have sorry we're in telly one right here so the this first variable stores this enabled and then the E2 stores this enabled, as you can see. E2 is des.enabled. You get it. And then the next line, we are getting the touched event. So that is script.parent, which refers to our telly1 part, dot touched, colon connect, and then we're calling a function, and then we're passing through a P to store the object variable in <clears throat> so in this case this refers to whatever part touches the object hopefully that will be I don't know why my 
thing is loading but hopefully that will be like our player's leg or whatever so the first thing we're going to want to do is see if e is equal to true which it will be because we went in and checked the box remember if you don't check that box this won't work because this script is checking to see if that is enabled the next thing you it is going to do is set both the enabled defaults so that neither of the teleports will work while this is happening so these kind of act as a debounce just so nothing breaks while the player is teleporting and then it checks to see if the player is a if the part that touched it is part of a player so like if it's their leg or arm or whatever by locating their humanoid so p dot parent in this instant p would refer to let's say our left leg and the parent would refer to the model that holds the player and we are looking for the humanoid object within the player model and we're saying if it's not equal to nil so if it's not non-existent I know that's a double negative so if it exists pretty much you use a lot of double negatives in coding then you will say p dot parent which again is the player model colon move to which is a function that just causes the player model to teleport and then you just get the destination dot position which is the tele 2's position and in the other script this up here will be replaced with tele 1 so it will be tele 1's position then we end that if statement we wait one second and then we re-enable the enabled values we set them both back equal to true and that is it as far as this script goes so yeah I already showed you that this that works so that is pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you guys found this useful again and as always if you have any questions or comments please post them down below I will be more than happy to help with anything or take any suggestions that you may have I apologize I haven't gotten this video out sooner you would but not believe the amount of time it took me to do the new thumbnail that stamp for some reason took me a lot longer than it probably should have but you know so if you enjoy please subscribe for future content please leave a like um, it really shows that you guys appreciate the effort put into these and I will catch you guys in the next video whether it be another remastered tutorial an original tutorial or something gaming related or something not like any of those at all but anyways yep thanks for watching I hope you guys have a great day and goodbye